Let us all welcome our second speaker, Ms. Khalil Zurin Tanago. Hello, so good morning. Thank you, Jessa, for that introduction. So um, just let me share my screen. I hope now you can hear me now. Okay, can I, uh, I'm not sure if you can see my slide. Okay, so um, good, so, um, just good morning. Uh, I am Kalal Zareen Tanalgo. I'm also an alumna of Lambunao National High School and I'm currently studying at West Visaya State University. So um, I would like to thank first now Lambunao National High School for inviting me again for, I think this is the third time around. Uh, two years ago, I was invited to speak uh, for the, I think it was the attitudes and beliefs of a 21st century leader. And then I was also asked to spearhead the leadership training or the team building rather last year of the different student leaders in Lambu now. So um, Roan, a while or uh, a while ago, uh, Miss Lozada, currently our CPUR president, talked about being limitless. And if, for those of you who do not know, Roan is also a very good friend of mine. So hello, Roan, and good morning to you. So. Um, today, I will be talking about the inspirations and motivations of a student leader. So actually, when the organizers asked me to talk about inspirations and motivations, I actually thought hard kung ano ginman balang inspiration and motivation of a student leader. And I could not come up with a single definite answer. So uh, before I would like to share my personal experience regarding what inspired and motivated me to become a student leader, I would first want to ask you, the student leaders of Lambu now, what inspires or motivates you? So I would like to call on uh, the president in the person of Ms. Doncilio to, if you can answer my question, what inspires or motivates you? Hello, Miss Doncilio, are you there? Hi, ma'am. Hi, hello, good morning. Good morning. Fine, nice to be talking to you. So I have a question for you. You're currently the president of the SSG, am I right? Yes, ma'am. So I have a question for you. So what inspires or motivates you? What inspires or motivates my, me, ma'am, is the achievement. Whenever we end up our activities, it's always we achieve our goal and give the positivity, positive impact for our fellow students and fellow leaders. So achievement is what motivates or inspires me as a leader. Okay, so thank you, Ms. Doncilio. No, very, very well said, achievements. So if I may say, no, I, I, want, I, I also want to talk or share my experience on what inspired and motivated me to become a leader. I you know, the best thing that we can learn from is, of course, from the experiences of others and from our, also our own experiences. So what inspired me to become a leader is that um, I love what I do. I love helping people. I love troubleshooting if there are any problems. And what motivates me is that, just like you know, I feel a sense of fulfillment and achievement whenever I finish a certain task or a certain activity. So you can see, you know, we have uh, different things that may inspire you, motivate motivation that is different from, from mine, and that is also varies from one person to another. This is because it all depends on a case-to-case -case basis. Line line siya kada tao. Wala sa ah, siguro may ara man duwa ka tao nga pareho ang ga-inspire and ga-motivate sa ila. But uh, for more more often than not, no, it's different from one person to another. And why? Why is this different from one person to another? It's because there is no one-size-fits-all leadership strategy. 
what may work for SSG may not work for USC and for CPUR and vice versa. What, uh, we are composed of diverse teams. We vary from one another. So kung nag-work ni siya sa isa ka-council, it does not mean that kung wala siya nag-work sa inyo, you failed your, your, your goal or your objective. It could simply mean that you need a different strategy. So again, I want you to remember that there is no one-size-fits-all leadership strategy. That's why when I thought kung ano ba lang inspiration and motivation of a student leader, there is no definite thing. Um, I cannot say na amo lang ni siya, no? or, or what you think, or achievement lang ang nag inspire or motivate sa leaders because it varies from one person to another. But um, little do people know that Inspiration and motivation are words that are used interchangeably. And anong ga inspire sa aton, kag anong ga motivate sa aton, we often regard it as pariho lang. But uh, what's interesting is that these two words are actually very different from each other. There is a fine line from being inspired and being motivated. And this is why. If you can see, inspiration is and process in which people reach a point of wanting to act. Meanwhile, motivation means giving people reasons to act. So in simpler words, no, inspiration is ginobra mo tungod gusto mo. And motivation, for example, is ginobra mo tungod may deadline ka. Ginobra mo tungod may sweldo ka. Ginobra mo tungod you will be rewarded for it. That's in simpler terms the difference between inspiration and motivation. I hope I hope that I give you a clear picture now. So inspiration is people reaching a point of wanting to act, and motivation is giving people reasons to act. So tani makita niyo ang um, fine line kung kung ano ako nagina namin. So to further dig in, here is a comparison of inspiration and motivation. As I've said, a definition. And then the source. The source of inspiration is internal, and the source of motivation is external. For example, ang inspiration nagastam from within. You can be inspired by other people, but it's always up to you to act on that inspiration. Kumbaga mas more of a, an emotional feeling siya compared to motivation or an external. Uh, for example, of a motivation deadline. Ang source kung nga uh, ginaubra mo ang imuubra is it's external because deadline, it's apart from you. Ginaubra mo ni siya, it's because may deadline ka, may quota ka. However, ang inspiration is ginaubra mo tungod gusto mo. The span of inspiration is everlasting, which means it's long-term, while motivation is short-lived. And if you ask me why, uh, we will reach that point later on. The feel of inspiration is to propel while the feel of motivation is to compel. The impulse to take of inspiration is spontaneous, meaning it comes naturally and motivation, it's deliberate. Kung bato-bato siya, hindi siya spontaneous. It's not occurring in, in one snap. And the reason for doing or for being inspired is because it's a natural calling. However, motivation is self-imposed or societal expectations. Uh, societal expectations in a way na din expect ka sa mga mga friends or sa mga parents to graduate with honors. That's why you're motivated. However, inspiration, um, it's also self-imposed, but it's not societal. Uh, it's not based on societal expressions. Uh, gusto mo yung magka honor. It's because gusto mo gigya magtuon. And that's the, that's the fine line between inspiration and motivation. So, um, inspiration, I call it a spark. Um, remember this, it's a spark because um, the lightest or ang pinakadim na kalayo, it's a spark, it's the start. It's a natural calling and it's a deep-seated purpose. And it comes from your core belief, while motivation is a fuel. For example, deadlines, rewards, incentives, punishments, 
threats, and peer influence. So I want you to remember that we are equating here inspiration as spark and motivation as fuel because this will be very important in our next discussion. So I hope you can see in your screens that there is a campfire, no? There's firewood and there's fire. Uh, I want you to recall that I said inspiration is a spark and motivation is a fuel. You see the fire there, that's your burning passion. And in your case, as student leaders, your burning passion is of course service, to be altruistic and to serve other people, to serve your constituents, your students, and as well as other members of the society. The firewood here, or ambalantabi uling, it's the fuel, amun siya ngatong gatong. While the start is your action or your process of starting the fire. Diba ang bakuhagina, ang inspiration is uh, everlasting or long-term while your fuel or your motivation is short-term or short-lived. Why? Because, for example, uh, imagine that you are watching right now a campfire. If you take away the fuel or ang gatong, ang aton nga kahoy, Siyempre, ma magamay nga magamay ang kalayo. But it does not totally disappear yet. May gakabilin pa na nga, nga for example, ang upos siya bala, ang, ang remnants of the kahoy, kisa na gabaga, mana siya gyapon. It does not have fire, pero gabaga siya gyapon. And that, ang baga nga na, we refer to that as spark. It's the inspiration. So if you take away the fuel, Ara nagya po ng spark. You know why? Because the spark is long term. Our inspiration is long term. However, if you take away the fuel or the motivation, pwede ikaw nga magin inspired pero hindi motivated. However, let's do it vice versa. Dira lang ang kahoy, dira lang ang fuel, but we put out the fire. We put out the spark or we put out the source of the fire. And that's the spark. Ara nagya po ng gatong, pero. It's not burning anymore. It's because that you've you've taken out the core belief or the deep seated purpose, and that's inspiration. And I hope you can see now what I'm talking about is ang lifespan ng inspiration and motivation as it varies. Hindi pwede nga for a few well lang tapos wala mo man ginsindutan kaya hindi nasa magkalayo pisa na noon mo pa. However, hindi man pwede nga puro kalayo lang tapos hindi mo napagatungan because eventually it will die down. That's why inspiration is long term while motivation is only short term. Because uh, one cannot survive without the other. I'm not saying that inspiration is better because it's long term and it's the source of the fire. I'm saying that um, in order to be an effective leader, you need to have two. Hindi pwede nga isa lang, hindi pwede nga puro inspiration, pero wala gatong. Hindi man pwede nga puro gatong lang, pero hindi tayo mag-umpisa sa kalayo. That's the essence of it. Um, motivation is, of course, short term, but one cannot work without the other. These two should work hand in hand, and it is very important as leaders to know the difference. Because this can serve as your strategy mo. Ano ka classical leader? Are you an inspiring leader or are you a motivating leader? And there's no there's no favoring one side. It should always be, you should always be an inspirational motivator in some, wa in some way. You should be inspiring and motivating. Okay, like I said, kung kwaon mong motivation, it's all spark. You're, you're not going anywhere. The fire will not get any bigger. It's dim, but it's still there. But there's no way of getting the fire any bigger. However, kung puro lang ng kalayo, kung hindi mong pagatungan, eventually it will die down. So I hope you understand the difference between motivation and inspiration and what are the examples of each. So how do we cultivate inspiration and motivation? You know, it's not enough na ikaw lang ang inspired, kag ikaw lang ang motivated. You yourself can be a source of inspiration and motivation in the workplace. And at this time of crisis, when 
we are quarantined or sequestered in our own homes, we are living in isolation, it's very important for us to be the source of each other's inspiration and motivation, most especially for student leaders, because your constituents are depending on you. It does not mean that because you are, you know, uh, stuck in an online online platform, uh, it doesn't mean that uh, then that's it. That's the end of the world. Or okay, then we will settle for anything less because my would like no. You were elected in position because people are expecting from you. And that is why it's also important that within you, within you guys, kamong officers, you're you're rock solid. Kamomi mo, you inspire each other and you motivate each other. So how do you cultivate that in your workplace? First is inspiration. The source of inspiration is internal. I said that. So natural calling na siya. If you're still lacking inspiration, you have to ask yourself, what do you want to do? Ako, if I ask myself, what do I want to do? Um, I want to be a nurse and a student leader. So that's my inspiration. I am not forced because this is something that I want. But if you've already found your inspiration and you feel like you still need to work more on it, you should ask yourself, to remember why you started. Nga anagumpisa ka maging leader and maging nurse. So that's the very important thing in there. So again, I highlight ko na inspiration, the source of it is internal. It should always start within. You can remember that you cannot give what you do not have. You cannot inspire other people if you yourself, you're not inspired by what you do. So next is motivation. How do you cultivate motivation? in your own workplace so of course first is that you have to set realistic goals amoni siya mga external factors that keep the fire burning within the workplace uh oh uh wait just let me charge my laptop okay so what are the external factors that will motivate your, your co-officers? Of course, one is to set realistic goals. Anong objective niyo or ang goal niyo as a council? What's, what's your project? It could maybe na, um, for example, someone sa, sa WVSU, one of our realistic goals was to ease out the process of online learning for WVSU students. So what did we do? We asked to lobby the provision of learning resource packets or tablets. And it's realistic. Why? Most especially na relevant siya and it's needed in this time because not everyone has the gadget. So what we did is we sent out a letter to the office of the president and eventually um, uh, gave a proposal not to give a tablet to every student of the main campus as of now and we're currently working on providing students from external campus with tablets as well so that's an that's an example of a realistic goal it means na dapat may objective ka ano dapat ninyo brahon and then when you reach that objective of course it does not only stop there you transcend to another level so the next thing that we did is we ask for an appeal or or the approval of the administration to have these tablets delivered at the homes of our students or at the hometowns of our students and we did now for students residing in kabatwan we had it delivered to kabatwan so that, that's an example of a realistic goal of course an example of projecting a realistic goal is to project timeline which means that uh, sa muni nga adlaw, dapat ang muni na accomplish nyo. Hindi pwede nga wala deadline. Because if wala deadline, then everything, everything is just all over the place. Uh, another example is status reports. You need, the committee needs to give progress every now and then. Hindi pwede nga wala sang status reports. Because people will not, uh, you will lose track kung di na ka So that is what motivates your your co-officers in my case in my experience no um dapat may deadline 
and but deadline is of course considered as a motivation kasi um kumbaga ako na motivate ko kay may deadline wala man di ba sa may naghahambal nga na inspire ko kay may deadline so it's actually na motivate ka because may deadline and that's an example of an external source of motivation next is positive re reinforcement um there's actually two types of reinforcement no and two types or sources of motivation one is positive and one is negative so in here i included positive reinforcement which means this is setting a good example giving rewards appreciating your officers efforts and to have fun on the other hand the negative reinforcement means na uh, you're threatening your co-officers for example uh, kung hindi mo ni gani, mamit ang deadline, may multa ka. That's an example of a negative reinforcement here. Giving threats. Uh, in some cases, it works. But in my experience, it does not. You know, if I may have a little story time. Uh, during my first days or my first few months in the council, um, I was a perfectionist in a way because I'm I'm a student nurse by... I'm a, I'm a nurse in the making. So uh, in the healthcare field, we're dealing, with, we're dealing with life or death. So there's no room for mistakes. That's why I grew up to be major perfectionist. My mom and dad are both nurses, so major strict sila. And um, ako ya, I give no rooms for mistakes. Then on, sang una. Because gamay lang sala, gapang akin kudayon. And that's why we formulated an internal rules and regulations, or we call it IRR. Nga, kung, kung hindi mo ni mamit, may multa ka. Absent ka, may multa ka. You have punishments. And in some cases, some people are motivated by punishments. Hindi nila gusto nga maparusahan sila. That's why they do their job. But, you know, over time, I realized that it's not effective for my people. Kaya tiyang ako ng mga officers, nagasungod, nagalay ng buot. Because they feel as if they're too controlled. And that's why I shifted to positive reinforcement. By, of course, appreciating their efforts. Okay. Um, isa hindi mo ni matapos sa muni nga oras. Basta may pakita ka lang danay sa akin. So if you feel nga ma-absent ka, then it's okay. Basta may hatag ka lang sa akin. No negativity. Do not foster negativity in your workplace. So dapat mo na siya. Positive reinforcement. I hope na this will work also with you, no? And of course, to have fun. It's positive. Uh, bisan may sala, sige lang. See the silver lining and be optimistic. Hindi ka mga kig to get things right. On my case, kasi wala siya work. Next is um, autonomy. Another source of motivation is autonomy. Autonomy means that you're giving the person the freedom or the free will to decide his on her own. And I think this is very important aspect of motivation that officers or leaders often tend to overlook. So autonomy examples here are trusting each other and giving space to work on their own. And of course, testing their new ideas. Why is it important? Because usually, kita as officers, uh, most especially no, in my case, the chairperson or the president, they oversee the process. So, sila na ang assigns ang task and sila na ang naga divide. But, kisa naga ba kita nga dapat ang mugid niyo brahon mo, dapat ang mugid niya, dapat ang mugid niya, dapat ang mugid niya mo niyang process, ang muni dapat ang paghiwat. But, um, we also have to consider that each one of us are different individuals. So, set a goal. My objective kang objective mo is to come up, for example, to come up with a design, an event design. Ikaw ya, because you're the you're the one who is overseeing everything. Gina inject mo nang mga personal preferences. But I suggest that kung sino ang committee nga natugya ni hatag siya, let him or her carry out the task. Let him or her formulate her own ideas that is different from you. Um, sometimes we are carried away by our prejudice, no? Nga bisan mula tapan na experience. Dapat amuni siya because based, based sa mo understanding, this is how it should look like. But I advise that you trust, trust your people and tell them na, okay, our end goal is the same and your process might be different, but it's okay. Uh, for example, 
salmon, I'm not very strict with meetings anymore. Most especially nga nag online. Uh, I do not care if I, I see you in the meeting or not. As long as you do your job right, I'm okay with that. And that's autonomy. You're giving him or her the space that he or she demands or he or she wants, provided that he will achieve your end goal. Dapat pariho lang ka mo goal, bisan lain pa na ang process, that's okay. Basta pariho ka mo sang goal. And then, the last one is invest in one another. You know, like I said, Gani, it's very important that you work uh, very hard and you give your best to the students. But it's also important to nurture your binding or your, your relationship as co-officers or as co-workmates. So how do you invest in one another? You have, have regular meetings or have one-on-one -on -one conversation with each other. If you feel like this person medyo medyo kulang ang iya kinahatag, then it's time for you to have a feedbacking. Nga, um, let's say, um, ang imuna, ang imuna product or ang imuna project, do mas sense na mo, hindi nga do medyo kulang. It's good, but I think we can improve it. Do, do mo na siya bala. So it's very important that you invest in one another. This means that you nurture and you foster growth very important the aspect of growing because it it is what makes you stay in service if you do not grow anymore then leave it's important that you grow okay stay if you're stagnant the the purpose of testing out new waters kumbaga the purpose of being in the council apart from primarily serving is of course to grow as an individual and to help your constituents grow. So that's why you have to invest in one another. You have to be collaborative and you have to cross skill. Cross skill, kung baga rotation sa ulo brahon bala. Um, ang mga ba ko, you do not settle for only one job. You try to explore other jobs or other committees that you might be interested and you might be good in. For example, uh, ikaw ya always kaya sa design committee, no? Try to explore to be in in the media committee or in the technical committee. Kiti amo na ganyan bal ni Manang Yeroan. Kagina, paano mo mabalaan nga ugyan mo sinigang kung adobo lang pero may ginakaon? That's a very, very good point. Na you have to try different things. And if one of you is scared, then it's time for you to butt in and say na kaya, you can do it. That's why you have to invest in one another because you have to make each other grow. Kumbaga, you think of yourselves as plants. You have to water one another in order for you to grow. Hindi pwede nga dira ka lang always. Hindi pwede nga ikaw lang niya always sa limelight. Hindi pwede nga ikaw lang niya always behind the camera. That is the importance of investing in one another because it helps you grow. Makagani, if you're not growing anymore, then leave. It's it's as simple as that. Just like in a relationship, if you feel like dula na kamoga transcend or you're not moving any further, then leave. Get out of that relationship. So that's a few examples of motivation. Like I said, no inspiration internal siya. You have to own it. You have to want it in order for you to be inspired. However, in order for you to be motivated, dapat may parameters ka. We have external factors. Ang ganing namba ko, uh, Paano mo motivate ang kaupod mo? Gaya siya deadline. Paano mo siya ma-motivate? Hatag siya iya oras kay kang iya space. It's as simple as that. Dapat, you have to be sensitive with each other in order for you to know what inspires or motivates one another. Okay, like I said, there is no one-size-fits-all leadership strategy. It all varies from person to person. So I think that's it, inspiration and motivation. So reminder, or saliwat lang, ang inspiration dapat internal. You have to know what you want. Ask yourself, what do you want? And if you already know what you want, remember why you started. Remember why you wanted that in the first place. And then, amuna na ang spark mo. If you know what you want, there's 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 already a spark. May garaan na gamay ng kalayo. So how do you further nourish that fire? You set a motivation. You find a motive. Hatagi deadline ang kaugalingon mo. Um, make sure that you grow. You you appreciate your own efforts and as well as your co-officers' efforts. That's it. So, 
this is a quote from Dr. Wayne Dyer, and I think it's a very comprehensive quote. He said, motivation is when you get hold of an idea and carry it through its conclusion. And inspiration is when an idea gets hold of you and carries you where you're intended to go. So I hope makita niyo na yung difference, no? Uh, of being motivated and being inspired. Being motivated means that you want to reach this goal because something is waiting for you at the other hand. But inspiration is you want to reach this goal because you want it. You want it more than anything else. And that's the difference between in motivation and inspiration. And like I said, no, uh, there those are some of the examples of motivation that exists in our council, but you could add up your own, you could subtract some of those, whatever works for you. There is no perfect leadership, no mm -hmm. definite leadership. It all varies. We're we are diverse and we're varied. So we have to cater to the to the different needs of our officers and as well as our constituents. So I think that's all. I hope that you learned something new from me today because when i did my research about this i definitely learned a lot um if you may have any questions now you can reach me through my social social media accounts um hindi lang text kay i seldom open my my message inbox but i'm i have internet so much more accessible and most convenient just on um, facebook or any other social media accounts and also my email so before i officially end i would once again like to thank lambunao national high school supreme student government most especially sir staff thank you for having me again i hope wala ka sa akin for the third time already and maybe guys i hope to see you soon i hope to see you next year and we're in a crisis, but we're still student leaders, and that does not make us any less. So um, I am Kalauzarin Tanago, and I am always proud to be a Lambo Naunan. So thank you, everyone, and God bless.